America, baby. <laughs> oh, good morning, everybody. Check it out. We're in Munson, Maine. Yes, I've arrived in Munson. I love this little town. This is it. This little strip and one little turn down to Shaw's and the Irving gas station. So, yeah, I figured since I'm going to be staying in Munson, I'll give you guys the tour of the town. And then we'll go up to the property. I'll give you a little tour around there, too, because it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. So let's catch up. First of all, though, let's take a tour through Munson, Maine, baby. Love this little town. This is the Quarry Fine Dining. I've actually never ate there. I think maybe the Fine Dining threw me off for a loop. And as you can tell, you just don't meet any dress code. <laughs> it's a Patton House, 1840. The Lily Cat Antiques. Let's go right down the road here. We got the municipal building right here. With the fire department. That's where we went and turned in our building permit. And over here we have the Lakeshore House. In 2012, that's actually where I stayed, up top. In the uh, bunkhouse there. Great place to eat, good food. Can't say enough about that. And of course, the AT Visitor Center, Appalachian Trail Visitor Center's right in this door. I'll cross the road with you guys, I think. Well, maybe not. Blue Goose Antiques and Crafts. I've never seen that place open in my life. That's where Southbounders go to get their tags in here. And any information you need about Katahdin or yeah, anything in the 100 mile wilderness, they got you covered. Bill. They got all the info you need. You know, here you got a couple new places like Monroe Community Place. This is the studios where you can go in there and paint, do all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, I want to take you back here. I almost forgot to show you. I like this little part of town. The jaywalk. So in between the Blue Goose Antiques and the Munson Art Studio, look at this cool little place. Super nice. And if you notice, I'm uh, almost every telephone pole, if not every telephone pole, there is an American flag, which how can you go wrong with that? Hi there. Good morning. Post office. That's where you're gonna pick up your boxes if you send a resupply, which you don't really need to. Between the uh, gas station, the corner market, and Shaw's, you can probably resupply. That's a cool church, let me zoom you in. Mm, I like that little church. And then, right down here, actually, too, is the boat launch. Hang tight. We're almost through. We're almost done walking through town. Oh, I love this little town. It's so nice. I actually walked from our property to town. It only took me, like, five minutes. Super close. We're just not in town. Okay, then you get these little, little studios, all art studios. This is a store. I haven't been in there yet. They're closed right now. All kinds of artsy stuff. These metal moose are new this year. And the general store. And this place is great for sandwiches. Um, yeah, like order sandwiches, like 
They got all kinds in there, and they're really hiker friendly. Yeah, don't want them to look at me. Look at the store. Yeah, even your backpack stinks. <laughs> got the signs here. Because believe it or not, the AT used to come down this road and then turn on 15 and then go down Elliottsville Road. <laughs> to the church, the public library is over there. We'll get to that here in a minute. This is the ice cream store, Munson General Scoops. Mm, I like that place too. I'm just gonna take you up here a little ways and I will show you Shaw's. There's that cool church again. Yeah, nice little pavilion, little bridge. Oop, pick up your feet, Craig. And I got this parking, downtown parking. Anywho, for all you guys that's been to Munson before, this, uh, I'll show you. This is all part of Shaw's. So you got your yurts. This is where the owners live, Poet and Hippie Chick and their family. Um, and this white building over here is the hostel. So is that white building and another garage building. Yeah. And that there is Shaw's. All right, I think we got a couple more things to show you. Just like the barbecue place and the uh, public library, which has got really good Wi-Fi, so I can upload videos there. Because on, um, look, I love how patriotic everybody is here. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I love Munson. You walk everywhere you need to go. Super hiker friendly, which a lot of hikers aren't up here quite yet, but they are coming, they are on the way. All right, let's turn you around. Ice cream. Yeah, I can say the general store here has a great little place. And Greenville Road is right here, also known as Main 15. That's what you're probably gonna see it in the Atlas as. Look, look how cute this little town is. All the copper roofs and stuff. Super neat. Looks like they're getting ready to paint this building. Probably a fresh coat of white. White and black's like the theme. Flags everywhere, baby. Uh oh, I'm gonna get copyrighted for this song. Let's hope not. There's the community center, library, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Yep, what a cute little town. I'm so glad to be back in Munson. Feels good. Feels right. Look. Got some road noise. This is cool too. Munson's known for their slate. Got a bunch of slate quarries. And if you noticed a bunch of roofs in town, were slate roofs. This building here says, I care of Maine, Public Library and Northern Lights Health. And this is the barbecue place in town. So there's like three or four restaurants in town, which not bad. There's no grocery store, one gas station, uh, the market. You can't really call that a grocery store, but whatever. So that was your tour of months and everybody. I didn't take long even walking. So now we're just gonna walk out this road a little ways and then uh, I'll show you the property. We're just gonna get to it. 
It's not far. Don't worry. Eight miles down Elliottsville Road. Get to Borestone Mountain. Katie and I just climbed Borestone. We did it two different days. We watched the dog, but we both did it. It's just a nice mountain to climb. It's like the perfect amount of hiking for a day. For like a day hike. You get done, you're not all beat up. It's a great hike for views. Yeah, it's good. Borestone. I should have done a video on it. Maybe I will. <laughs> It's just right here. Boom, there's a road right here, eight miles down that road. And that road also takes you to a couple places you could like pick up AT hikers if they wanted to bail out out of the 100. The 100 mile wilderness that is. You can get them a couple places right on here. I'll let you say it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So this is our parking spot in Munson. We had this little done last year uh, by an excavator in town. And then this year, actually next week, we're getting our driveway going way up there. So this little parking spot is temporary. We're going to move this whole operation up halfway this year. Then the following year, we're going to go all the way up to where the house is going to be. So, let's take a little tour of the property. Katie's been building trails. I'm just going to take you up and show you where we're going to build the house. And then I'll come back when we get the driveway up to where the shed's going to go. I'll show you that. And Katie's here building trails. He's sweaty. Katie's sweaty. She probably won't be on camera. So, road noise. Too bad it's not our excavator. Oh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> You're welcome. That's funny. So, she got here earlier than I did this year, and she's been doing a little bit of work. She did all this garden area, little dog area, little bench in there. Little hammock spot. Here we'll go this way. Yeah, we're going up. Well, it's going to take us probably two years to get the driveway all the way up. So we'll go up so far to where we're going to build a shed. We'll build a shed this year. And then the next year, get the driveway up to the house site and get the septic in. All right, let's get up here. All right, this is the future house building site. So in a few years, three three years probably, we'll build a house right here in this spot. We've got a post here, flag there, flag there, and a flag over here. That's the four corners of the house. Our septic got approved over here, so that's good. And the parking spot that we were just at is like way down there. So our driveway's gonna come up. It's gonna have like two switchbacks. So we're going to take out some of these trees, which is a good thing. We're going to take out at least as many trees as we have to, to open this view up. Because with the house right here, it's going to stand like 30 foot, 35 foot tall. 
will be a look right into the 100 mile wilderness. See, check this out. Zoom in. Boop. Look at that. That's gonna be our view from our house looking into the 100 mile wilderness. These trees here will go bye bye with the driveway and we should have a really good view. So yeah, and we could go up even further, <laughs> but to get the driveway up further, I mean, the driveway is already gonna cost us a small fortune to get up here. So that's why we're splitting it up into a couple years. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> can't just can't do it all right now. It would be nice to, but financially, it just can't happen. Yeah, future house site. It's perfect. <sighs> right. So you've seen the town of Munson. You've seen our little tiny slice of our property here in Munson. Um, and now you're inside my home. Oh, I'm getting to love you guys real good. <gasps> I'm showing you stuff I don't usually show you. Anyways, um, since, so I'll give you the update here. Next week or this week, sometime this week, hopefully, hopefully this week, we're going to start doing our driveway up, halfway up this big hill um, to where we're going to build a shed. Hopefully start building the shed within the end of next week. It's kind of what I'm hoping. Um, it's not your normal shed. It's going to be a 10 by 12 shed. It's 16 foot tall wall on one side and 10 on the other. And the roof's going to slope. And off this 16 foot wall, we're going to have a carport come off 13 feet wide by 21 feet long. So that's going to be our shed carport area. Uh, we're going to get that done this year. As soon as the driveway is done, we're getting material delivered and we're good to go. So that's what I've been doing. I've been figuring out material list. Um, and now I'm kind of worried that since I've been living in my van for over a year, um, and it's been working out great for me. I got enough power to do everything I need uh, to live out of it with Katie and two dogs. We hardly ever, ever have to plug in. I think I've only had to plug in like one time for like a week of cloudy weather, but I'm kind of concerned about being able to charge all my cordless tools, live in the van, and maybe run some power tools off the van. I don't think I got enough power to like run a job site off my van and still live in it. So, um, oh, today, look, I got to send one of these out, HST to Geraldine over at Golden Mate Batteries. <laughs> they actually reached out to me. Uh, they follow along my videos and they knew that we were coming up to Munson to do something. And most people know me, know I want to go off grid for as long as I possibly can. So until we get the house built, I want to be totally off grid and maybe even after the house is built, be off grid. So I'm going to send this over to Geraldine at Golden Mate Batteries. Uh, and that's what I'm doing today. I'm trying to figure out, I got an inverter with me. I've got some cables. I know I need to pick up a few things. So I'm going to order them today. Like a I'm going to pick up 400 watts of solar panels and I got to get a solar charge controller. Everything else I think I got. Maybe I just need to get some solar cable wires, but I did not have a battery bank other than my van. So I put the most expensive batteries you can possibly buy in this van. Battleborne batteries, they're a thousand bucks a piece for a hundred amp hour battery. <laughs> this Golden Mate right here is like the cheapest battery you can probably buy on Amazon. I think it was like 450 is what they asked for them brand new like i say golden mate gave this to me thank you golden mate because <laughs> uh, they're like 450 500 bucks uh, but they're like the cheapest uh lithium ion battery you can buy um so it's pretty sweet that they just hooked me up with this so golden mate battery i saved the time and cut the bottom off so you guys didn't have to watch me cut the box open <laughs> that's kind of crazy Wait, look at this big boy. So this is the equivalent of half the power I have in my van. I have 400 amp hours of battery in my van. Cost me $4,000. This battery right here, 200 amp hours of lithium ion battery, um, which is half what I got in my van for 450 bucks. So it's like a tenth of the, or no, what? 
a fifth of the cost of what I put in my van. So I don't, all the reviews on this battery are super good. They're putting out more than 200 amp hours of uh, battery power. So that's good. Um, here, the owner's manual, in case some of you lithium ion nerds are interested in this battery. It's a Golden Mate 200 amp hour battery, a 12.8 volt, um, 200 amp hour, let me see here, energy, 2,560 watts, life PO4, uh, weighs about 55 pounds, that's for sure, because it's not light. And what else? Oh, the, the only thing I didn't really care about is the maximum continuous discharge current at 120 amps. I'd like to see it up to like 240 a 220 whatever it is the higher one um but this does have like if it gets too cold out it'll stop the charging if it gets too hot out it'll stop the charging and the benefit of this bad boy is if i like it i can add four more or three more of these together so you can hook four of these together in series or parallel i'm sure everybody watching this right now this does not watch my other videos just likes my hiking videos they're probably lost right now but anyways this is a pretty big lithium ion battery so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hook it up in the shed and then we'll have power in the shed um to charge batteries or whatever we need to do and then uh, oh a hot water heater so we have an outdoor shower over there <laughs> so yeah golden mate i really do appreciate you guys hooking me up with this battery and like i say if i like it i can get three more and then i wouldn't have to worry about power again it would pretty much i'd be able to build my whole house and probably run a fridge off four of these as long as they had enough solar panels to charge them. So, pretty awesome. Uh, here, this is a, the manual. Golden Mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad I didn't have to spend the money on this. It's so good. And, like, yeah, this will work perfect for what I need, too. Just, like, running a fridge, charging my milwaukee tools my cordless tool i think with my inverter i'll even be able to run my table saw and chop saw now this isn't going to run it very long this is pulling a bunch of power but if i get a couple more of these batteries hook them up together we'll be good but right now i'm going to start with this i'm going to get on the uh the old phone here and i'm going to write down the address to send geraldine one of these and then i'm going to uh start looking for solar panels and a solar charge controller and oh pr it's okay little buddy it's okay <laughs> anyways uh that's the update um it's almost fourth july is like next weekend so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're planning on going to the catamount in bennington vermont it's the catamount motel and they're gonna have a big cooker hike out kite like a hiker feed for hikers sir stops is gonna be there Stephen bombard is gonna be there uh, just going to be feeding a bunch of hikers on 4th July at the Catamount Hotel in Bennington. So if anybody wants to join along, feel free to come over to the Bennington uh, Catamount Motel 4th of July. And we'll be there hanging out. So that's the update. Uh, once we get the driveway up the hill a little more and start building the shed, I think I'm going to do videos on building the shed and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and maybe do a video of them doing the driveway up. Because it's going to switch back like two or three times to get up to where we need to go. So I'll be doing videos updating you guys on the driveway progress, the shed progress. And as soon as the driveway is done, we build the shed. As soon as the shed's done, I can get on some trails and go hiking. Uh, so yeah, we're just waiting on the driveway guy. That's the update. Hope you guys have been good. Uh, I'm just trying to get us some power so we can start building this shed. After this driveway's done, I've said that a million times. I'm just concerned. I want to get the driveway done like now. <laughs> but we'll get with it. Another huge shout out to Golden Mate uh, for giving me this battery to like pretty much try out and see if I like it. If I like it, if you look that cheap of a battery, why not get some more? Um, so yeah, 4th of July, Bennington, Vermont, Catamount Motel, big hiker feed. Sir Stop Slot's going to be there feeding everybody. And HST members are invited to come. Um, so, yeah, we'll go hang out there. What's up, little buddy? Come here. Oh, you can't see Mr. PR because he's all... Uh, come on, up, up. He's all tied up, pal. Anyways, he's right there. And I hope you guys have been good. 
and I'll touch base on this property as it comes along. Fingers crossed, driveway guy gets here tomorrow or the next day and gets us all buttoned up by the time we get back from Catamount. That'd be perfect. Then we start building the shed. So, yeah, figured I'd touch base. Good to see you guys. Hope you guys are well, and I will touch back soon. Mm -hmm.